Welcome to One Tree Island Research Station. This research station is located 50 nautical miles offshore from Gladstone, Queensland, Australia. We are towards the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. This key that the research station on is 4 hectares and it is made up of coal rubble. It is part of the lagoon system here which is 3 nautical miles long and 2 nautical miles wide. The lagoon is an enclosed lagoon which means at low tide the water in the lagoon is 1.5 metres higher than the rest of the ocean. The University of Sydney leases a small part, a portion of this island for its buildings. The rest of the island is a national park and access to it is by permit only. At the research station here we have several vessels. We have three 4 metre vessels one 6 metre vessel and one 11 metre vessel. Three of these smaller vessels are pontoon vessels which means that they are unsinkable. We can walk down to the wet lab now if you wish and start the uh, tour there. This is the wet lab at One Tree Island. Our seawater is filtered through sand before it's pumped up into the heavy tanks. It is then filtered down to 0.2 of a micron and put through a UV steriliser. We'll walk down to the back of the wet lab now and I'll show you the temperature control room and light control room. This is a blackout room, we can shut these windows and be totally dark in here and we can also control the temperature. Now we're going to head over to our generator shed and solar panel room. Here we have a 6.5 kilowatt diesel generator. This is a backup for our solar power system. The station runs, gets 90% of its power from the sun. We have 55 solar panels on the roofs of these buildings and we can produce 34 kilowatts of electricity a day. This is the battery room and inverter for our power system. This inverter will automatically start the generator when it's required. This is one of our compressors to fill our dive tanks. We have a spare one here. These buildings contain our workshop and office and storeroom. the roof here we have 25 of our solar panels. This system was upgraded last year. This is part of our fresh water system. We can store 64,000 litres of water here. All our fresh water comes off the roof of the buildings. This is known as the bio lab. It's our second temperature control and light control room. This is an air conditioned room. We have fresh water and we can bring salt water in here as well if need be. Over to the left here we have our dry laboratory.
As you can see, this is a busy little environment. Okay, we'll leave here now. We'll go out and I'll show you the dormitories. We have two dormitories here at One Tree Island. This dormitory sleeps eight people, has a kitchen and dining room. We'll proceed out the back to the barbecue area. This is our barbecue area. We sit here in the evenings and watch the sunset. It's a very pleasant spot. We've had many deep and meaningful discussion here. Okay. These are our composting toilets, there are two toilets here. All the waste goes into the bit underneath, it's added with sawdust and it breaks down to almost nothing. This particular one here is known as the loo with a view. We have another dormitory here on the station, it also has a composting toilet. So it's three to the station. Now we'll uh, proceed around to our showers. I'll give you Passing the manager's house here, it's a uh, very rudimentary building, 90% of the walls are made of louver windows, so it's very good in the summer. Get the sea breeze blowing through it. These are two of our four bucket showers that we have on the island. If you'd just like to have a look in here, you'll see the canvas bag hanging from its pulley. It's a very pleasant way to shower. Listening to the birds. If you'd like to come down this path here, then uh, we'll approach the other dormitory. This dormitory sleeps 16 people and has a kitchen, toilet and shower. Please come inside. If you look out here, you'll see our salt water storage tanks and some solar panels. And now here's the rest of our island.